So, there has been something bothering me for the past week now, and I, I just want to get it off my back, okay? YouTube is not a fucking nursery for your children, okay? This is a message to parents. YouTube is not a place where you just dump your kids for five hours and let them free roam, okay? Please, let me get this point to you. YouTube is not a fucking nursery. And in the past week, I've seen so many articles now about two things, primarily. The Momo Challenge and a fucking meme. Now, to cover the Momo Challenge, otherwise known as the Blue Whale 2 Electric Boogaloo Challenge, I just have to say one thing. Where the fuck is it? Where is it? I haven't fucking seen it anywhere. Now, I'm not doubting that it exists somewhere, but I think it's being blown fucking extremely out of proportion. I have not seen a single fucking video anywhere of it, alright? And you think, you would think with YouTube and with the news, if they want to, you know, throw shit at YouTube's face for not being kid friendly and having these sadistic videos on it, would they not put the videos up there? Would they not show you the videos? I have not seen a single article reporting on the Momo Challenge that actually shows a video displaying it. Now, I'm not, as I said, not saying it's not real, but I'm just saying, what the fuck, okay? I'm doubting it. And other than that, it's, this has been said a thousand times before, and I'm not afraid to say it a fucking thousand and first time. You aren't, you should look over what your kids are watching. Please, look over what they're watching, especially if they're young, if they're really, really young. You know, don't just give them fucking... Don't just let them free roam on YouTube. As I said, it's not a fucking nursery. Too many people have the wrong idea now that YouTube is just a place you dump your kids for a few hours and you don't need to look at them. And this message has been echoed for the past year or so, and I feel it's being echoed to the wrong crowd. Like, even now, I'm really... The people I want to see this video aren't the people who are probably going to see it. At least... <clears throat> at least initially. So... If you're one of the people watching me, I ask you one simple thing. Please send this to people who probably wouldn't come across my channel. Because this is, this is important. This is a message that I really, I find close to me. And it's very important because I do not want stupid shits who don't, you know. <laughs> this message is going to, this is going to come across great to parents. Uh, but I do not want people, alright? I'm not calling you stupid shits just because you're a bit irresponsible, okay? We all do it, but. I don't want people who don't pay attention to their children and what they're watching to ruin this site for those who actually use it responsibly. Because the news and the mainstream media absolutely love to throw shit in YouTube's face. They want to make YouTube seem as terrible as possible. When in actuality, YouTube is no better or worse than any other big website out there. It's no better or worse than Twitter and it's no better or worse than Facebook or Instagram, or any other big website you throw out there. It has its faults, it has its fuck-ups, alright? Like any website does. But, just because it has the occasional fuck-up is no reason to ruin it completely for everybody else. You know, one man said nigger in 2017, and that completely fucked over the site, and... Like, I, I can't fucking believe, I still, I'm still getting over that one. What a fucking nigger. One man said a fucking word and completely ruined the website. So this is just me popping back in a bit later on to clarify what I said there. After PewDiePie, YouTube's biggest creator in that clip, said the word nigger in the middle of a live stream, after he said that, there were metric shit tons of articles, not even articles, there were opinion pieces disguised as news. They were all written, and they were written within the span of like one week. They all came out and they completely defamed him and defamed YouTube over this one small human mistake, right? Something that we've all done at some point or another, or it spluttered out some word that we fucking regret. It's whatever. But it was blown so far out of proportion and it was pushed so heavily in news articles that Many, many advertisers pulled out of YouTube. They all pulled their ads because it was deemed to be too offensive. And they didn't want to be advertising on a platform that, according to these news articles, pushed fucking anti-Semitism and racism and all that bullshit. It was just a human mistake. 
Anyway, with that said, back to the video. <clears throat> it makes no sense whatsoever, but all it is in reality is the news and the mainstream media fucking quivering at YouTube because they know YouTube and other similar alternative media websites will take them over eventually. A funny statistic I seen the other day was a comparison of the average episode of Pew News and the average episode of, I think it was like Tonight with Tucker Carlson. The average episode of Pew News got around 5 million views. Pew News being, eh, for any parents who don't know, it's a joke, it's a joke parody of like mainstream news, but he does report on kind of things that are relevant to him and things that are relevant on the internet. The average episode of Pew News, alright, when compared to the average episode of Tucker Carlson, a proper news show that has millions upon millions put into it every year, Pew News got 5 million views and Tucker Carlson got 2 million views. And I just fucking find that hilarious. But the news and people who work in mainstream media, they don't find that hilarious. They're shitting themselves. And they want to make YouTube seem as awful as they can to bring down its name to retain, retain the viewers that it does have. That's all it is. That's all it is at the end of the day. People don't like to admit that, and because YouTube is trying to do this stupid merge with mainstream media, which I don't understand whatsoever. I came to YouTube because it was an alternative. It was different. You know, you had creators like Filthy Frank, which I'll get to later. You had creators like Filthy Frank doing this mad shit that you would never see on TV, and it was hilarious and a bit stupid. V very stupid, okay? I, I, I take that back. Very fucking stupid. But it was funny. But now you have people trying to ruin it for everybody. Maybe intentionally, maybe not intentionally. Because of their ignorance. And their, I guess, unwillingness to give a shit. I don't know. You have two different people who are trying to pe bring down YouTube. People who have bad experiences with them that are very anecdotal. And they write up on their big blog posts or some shit. And then you have mainstream media who is afraid of YouTube. These are the two big people trying to bring it down, and they're both failing miserably. Either way, sorry about that, that was a big rant, but the moral of the story here is, or not the moral, the one thing I want you to take from this video is that, that YouTube is no worse than any other website out there. It really isn't. It's just people trying to bring it down, especially mainstream TV and all that, they're trying to bring it down because they're scared of it. That's simple as. My advice to you would be, if you have a kid under the age of 10 or so, after they're 10, I mean, I, I was watching stupid shit when I was like 7. But, but after the age of 10, uh, <clears throat> but if you have a kid under the age of 10, just go through what they're watching and just make sure it's not, you know, it's not anything awful. And if it is something bad or if it's something that maybe seems really rude or really awful, don't make a big fuss over it. Because the truth is, that's a lot of internet humor. It's very niche, and it's very stupid. But a lot of the time, it's very out there, to say the least. It's very, it's just very out there. There's like lots of swearing, lots of, you know, fucked up shit. It can be gore sometimes. YouTube is really just a mixed bag, but there's no need to go mad over it. And there's no need to write these big articles on how YouTube isn't child friendly because it really isn't. It, you know, it's like saying the sky is blue. It's nothing to be complaining about because it's up to you what your kids watch. My best bet would be, firstly, use the YouTube Kids app if you don't already. If Well, maybe, you know, when they get past the age of like 7 or 8, let them use normal YouTube. But before then, use the YouTube Kids app and... Just monitor through it every now and then. There shouldn't be. There's about like a one in a thousand chance that something bad will appear on YouTube Kids. It's really... There's not that much to worry about. It's an algorithm now. It, it, isn't, it isn't controlled by people because there's just too many videos on YouTube for that. It's controlled by an algorithm and most of the time it gets stuff right. Now, there are things that slip through obviously. But predominantly, it's okay. Now, on to our second and final topic of the video, which is a meme, which I'll get out of the way relatively quickly because, quite frankly, everything I really want to say has been said. There was this video that appeared on YouTube Kids a while ago, which was a reaction 
to a strange video, to say the least. Strange to most people, at least, and it was called The Opposites. It was a reaction to a video called The Opposites. Okay. What the? Sideways for attention, long ways for results. And while I'm not familiar with this video or its creator, I am familiar with the type of video that it is because, believe it or not, I used to watch something very, very similar called SMG4. And SMG4 made videos that were kind of like... Words aren't really the sort of thing you can use to describe this type of video, so I'm just gonna play a clip. One day in Teletubby Land, Tinky Winky saw that somebody had spilled their tubby custard on the floor. Whoever it was had left footprints. Oh! Oh! <laughs> was it Poe who spilled the tubby custard? Yes! <laughs> oh! it up! No! So, um, yeah, it, it's strange. It's loud. It's all over the place. But at the end of the day, it's a joke. The only problem here is that YouTube did let this through the barrier onto YouTube kids, but it was it was through a strange loophole. And it really it was just an accident. It was a one one in a thousand chance, as I said. Especially with YouTube kids. But with that said, there's it's no valid reason to go causing some big uproar. You could just report the video, not safe for children, and gone on with your day. In the said video, it's literally a filthy Frank meme, which, you know, to all the uh, uncultured people here, was basically the representation of, like, anti-establishment, but on YouTube. You know, like, with music we had punk rock, but with YouTube we had Filthy Frank. You filthy Frank was just a guy who took any barrier and fucking pushed it to 1,000, you know? Is I need more pussy. I need more pussy, man. Either way, <clears throat> either way, it's just uninformed people who are a bit ignorant taking this sort of stuff out on YouTube when it, they just, I don't think they realize how big of a platform YouTube is. You just can't, can't monitor every single thing that's uploaded there. And yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about that, at least for now. If you have any questions about this at all, just leave them in the comments and I will respond to them, or at least I'll try my very best. And with all of that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.